Bruce Lee's top five rules for success. Bruce Lee, the legendary, iconic superstar who revolutionized the world of martial arts and the movie industry. What do we learn from him? So I'm David Wong. I'm going to show you the top five rules of Bruce Lee's success that I've personally used in my life. And I'm going to share with you how to do it yourself right now. Rule number five is express yourself. No matter what you do, express your who you are and who you truly are inside. Let's say that you like to write. You're a good writer. You'd like to express your ideas on paper. So go ahead and do more writing. Maybe it's dance. Maybe you like to express yourself with movement of your body. Then go and do more dancing. Or it could be music. Maybe you want to play an instrument. Maybe you're a rapper. Maybe you'd like to play the drums. So do that. Or you could be an artist. You could be a painter or a cartoonist or it's some kind of art. But whatever it is that you like to do or something that's not even on that list, express yourself. Be yourself and create something from inside you. Create something from inside your mind. Whatever you imagine in your mind, whatever dreams you have when you are sleeping, make that become a reality in your life. So in the same way Bruce Lee expressed himself in his lifetime, I want you to express yourself. Whereas during that time that he was doing all his action movies and he was very famous, most of the Asians at that time were thought of as very, being very reserved and quiet and kept to themselves. But he expressed himself. He went out and really got the world to know who he was all about. Bruce Lee's number four rule for success is to be confident or to have faith in yourself. So what Bruce Lee did for a lot of the Asian culture back then, as I grew up, is that he gave us confidence so that we won't be scared of other people, especially bigger people. Asians were thought of as being weaker and smaller and cowards even at that time. And what Bruce Lee did was he changed the perception of that little guy, Bruce Lee, who was only five foot three and weighing only 130 something pounds. And he had the power and the strength and the speed to defeat bigger and larger opponents. And he was able to do that, which gave confidence not only to people like me uh, being smaller than most people, uh, but to everybody in the world. So he gave us confidence to stand up to bigger opponents in a physical fight or even something that's not physical, like in real life. So be confident in yourself, have faith in yourself. Know what you are really good at. Know what you are strong in. And then be the best in something. Be in the top 10% of something in your life. It may not be martial arts even. It may not be business. It may not be making a movie. But find something that will make you become in the 10%, top 10% of your environment. Find something that nobody else can copy about yourself. Bruce Lee's third rule of success is to don't think and feel. What you want to do is to stop thinking with your head using your logic and start feeling with your whole body and with your heart to know what you want to do in your life. In one of Bruce Lee's martial arts that he's trained called Wing Chun, a lot of the practical skills learned from there is through Qi Sao, sticking hands, or feeling the energy of the attacker and using it against him or using it to your advantage. So in the same way, if you want to be effective, you want to learn how to feel on the inside, feel how you feel, your emotions, and what emotions are telling you to do, what your gut feeling is telling you to do, what your heart is telling you to do, rather than what your mind or what your thoughts are telling you what to do. Just imagine if you could use your feelings combined with your mind, how much more powerful would you be? Bruce Lee's secret to success, number two, is to create your own art. He created his own art, the art of Jeet Kune Do. It was a brand new martial arts form, created from all his experiences, from all his training, combining boxing, kickboxing, and even dancing and fencing. And it was one of the first martial arts to gain a black belt recognition in America. So think about what you can create on your own. Create an art form that nobody else can do. Create something from your own experiences, from your own training, from your own inspiration, and create something from the inside of you. And don't just copy people and copy what you see, but 
learn from other people, gather from other people, but create something of your own. That's what Bruce Lee did when he created his own martial art, Jeet Kune Do. And finally, Bruce Lee's number one secret to success. So I'm David Wong. If you like this video, if you want to learn more about success, make sure you check out my webinar called Chi Life Mastery. It's a free webinar where you get to learn how to actualize your full potential. You learn about my story, how I went from broke to successful, how I went from sick to very healthy. And I'm gonna share with you my secrets of success that I've learned from Bruce Lee and that I've created also on my own. And finally, Bruce Lee's number one secret to success is to be like water. What does it mean to be like water? Water can take the shape of whatever it fills. If you put it in the glass, it will fill up the glass. If you put it in a bottle, it will fill up the bottle. Water can be gentle. You can take a nice bath with it and feel great. Or it can be powerful, like a storm, like a wave that crashes down. So what does it mean to be like water? Being like water means that you need to be flexible and you need to absorb everything around you and be fluid and to be fluid, even in this martial art.